Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to cover today. The Indonesian volcano, a big earthquake, a new solar monitor, and top science news. But we are also looking at space weather and we'll start with the last 24 hours on our star. There's another increase in solar flaring associated with the large sunspot group turning towards central longitudes. The solar wind enhancements NOAA thought were coming are either late or have missed the Earth, but focus remains squarely on the active regions for further development. The most dynamic group is on the south, heading for center disk, and it's also the biggest and most expansive complex on the Earth-facing side right now. Watch how it gains complexity over the last day. It is expected to be a continued source of flaring here through the rest of the week. We're off to Indonesia next, where a powerful volcanic eruption occurred and briefly caused a concern for a tsunami. The footage and photos of the event are astounding, and they include a fair amount of volcanic lightning, including one of the most amazing volcano photos I have ever seen. I was able to pull the sulfur dioxide detector from Himawari during the event, which shows orange for high concentration, and the burst was clearly visible on the camera. Large puff of the event put a good bit of aerosols into the sky when it erupted. But it wasn't the only geophysical note of the day. A 6.3 earthquake struck southern Japan and caused minor injuries, some landslide effects, and a bit of damage to infrastructure. Any bigger and serious damage would have resulted from it. First up in the science news is Vigil, the newest mission from the ESA, not set to launch until sunspot minimum in the coming years, but it will be stationed at L5 and will be able to constantly monitor the sun's incoming limb. This will give us a permanent eye on what's coming in towards the Earth a few days before it's actually visible to our planet, offering one of the most needed space weather capabilities scientists have been looking for. We've got scientists nervous up next, and it's about time. The collusion between governments and scientists in the pandemic certainly warrants investigation, and I, for one, hope they nail them to the wall. Up next, gamma rays are one of the key high-energy releases they attempt to spot during NOVA events, but a supernova in the nearby pinwheel galaxy seen for the duration of the outburst showed no signs of gamma emission. Time to head back to the drawing board for those astronomers. Last but not least, an excellent study showing how solar forcing impacts the harmonic of atmospheric wind patterns. It's one of the ways the sun controls the mid-range pattern development of things like major oscillations and modes in the atmosphere. Golf clap for that crew. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.